Hello and welcome to All Things Spiritual with Matthias. This show is created by Mark Berger, hosted by Mark Berger. I'm Zachary Weaver. I'm the speaking channel for Matthias, and Matthias is a concentration of universal love. And we use this show as a chance to explore spiritual topics with Matthias. Um, tonight, Mark has come up with a wonderful topic. But if you have a topic you would like to uh, have explored on the show, just um, send it to us. Put a comment on the video and let us know. We'd, we'd love to have it. But for tonight, Mark has selected as the topic, the power of words. And he's going to ask Matthias some questions about that. So to call in Matthias to um, let them begin speaking, I just feel a place in my body that feels light, that feels good. And so if listening along, you want to do that for fun, it's wonderful. Uh, just join me. Allow us to begin. And indeed, we thank you now for this connection and co-creation. Well, welcome, Matthias. Great having you again. And um, a topic that I thought about, as Zachary mentioned before, is the power of words. And, you know, the words that we speak definitely do a power. And, you know, I was sharing before about, like, you know, when things don't go our way, we tend to complain. And when we, when we complain, we're speaking words, and we're actually creating more of what we're complaining about. So, so Matthias, can you tell us, you know, about why our words have power? Indeed. We say your words have power because they are expressions of energy. They are expressions of your vibration. Your vibration has great power, and here you see, here you see that you can shift into a vibration that you choose, as we have shared before. You can choose to feel in your body a vibration that you prefer, and from this vibration, you may speak. And here you may be surprised that as you speak from your vibration, speak from your feeling, your words have a natural power. You seem to speak the perfect words without necessarily thinking so much about them, without so much pre-selection. You are speaking from your vibration, and as you speak these words aloud, this vibration floods through your body, and you have a clearer understanding, a clearer feeling of this vibration. And this means that this is your point of creation, your point of attraction, your point that is reflecting your reality. This vibration that you are is reflected in your reality, in your experience, and so it is very helpful to speak from your preferred vibration. Speak these words so that you feel your power of connection. That was great because you know what? You really brought up some good valid points here because you know what? Um, everything is energy, you know, and everything is, you know, what it is. And if we're talking, you know, we're coming, we're bringing it the frequency of our energy that we're bringing out. So we're actually externalizing our energy in the words that we speak. So I, I like what you said about that. But also, you know, um, one thing that I want to ask you is, let's say that somebody 
is really in a negative place, you know? And a lot of times, you know, we've gone through really hard times and are really finding it hard to about thinking about something positive or actually talking positive. What type of suggestion would you say to this person to make a shift into being more positive? We would say feel in your body. Feel the vibration in your body. You can feel a vibration that you prefer, or you can feel the vibration of perhaps frustration, complaining, or something that feels even less fun. You can feel this in your body. As you feel it without attaching the story to it, the vibration naturally releases and you may begin to notice a lightening of your vibration, a lightening of the feeling. This is the first suggestion. There is one other point that we would like to touch upon here and this, this is that sometimes you bottle yourself up as you feel that you must remain positive, you must speak positive, you Put a lid on your self and we say sometimes if you feel that you must speak about something, we say go ahead and let yourself speak. You are going for relief, for release. You do not need to contain all of your negative vibrations. You simply need to release them let them flow away and choose the feeling that you prefer as you feel lighter. So what you're saying is that if someone has always feeling bottled up, we shouldn't bottle up, we should let them go or lose them. So you should say these words, but then what you're saying is that the person should also find something to feel good about once they say these words, so they're not going to be repeating them and try and close out being more positive. Is that what we're saying here? Indeed. Indeed. You do not need to stay focused upon the problem, but we say sometimes you, you have trouble not focusing on the problem as you are trying to ignore the problem, to shove it down. And so we say, release this, speak what you are feeling or feel what you are feeling. Speak this, feel this. And then as you feel a little lighter, now engage in this energy. Now enjoy this energy. Now feel fresh and new. Indeed, we say this is what we are sharing. We thank you, Mark, for asking for this clarification. Is there any more here? Um, actually, I think we really did cover this very well. You know, our words do create the, the realities that we live in. And if you want to achieve positive things in your life, say positive words and feel positive feelings. But as was just mentioned, if you're in a really bad space and you have to let it go, let it go, but also allow positivity to come in afterwards to start feeling positive. But the point is not to keep it going back and forth with feeling the negative energy. So once you release it and say it, please you know, find a better way to quiet your mind and think positive. So this sums about pretty well there, uh, Matthias? Indeed, indeed. We say you may be gentle with yourself and speak even to yourself words that you love. So that's it for this week. Words have power, and as mentioned before earlier on, if you have any topics you want to talk to us about, please message us. We do appreciate it, and we are here to be a voice to help you. So thank you very much, and have a great one.